Was, um, what was it last week? It feel like it was two months ago. Yeah, it was about the last couple of weeks when we were dealing with those below average temperatures. We are expecting the good news here is above average temperatures for the next two weeks. So looking at that temperature outlook for the next two weeks, expecting those average highs to be around 76 and 78. That's the normal high for us here across the valley. But when we look at the temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, they are saying that we are going to be above average. So we could still continue to see those high temperatures in the 80s as we go into the the rest of this week into next week there, uh, we do have a couple of cold fronts on the way. Right now, uh, today, our high temperatures are about 84, 85 degrees across the area. Our normal temperature is supposed to be around 76 in Brownsville and Harlingen, 78 in McAllen. That record was set in Brownsville at 94 in 1954. Definitely not as hot as 101, which was the record in McAllen back in 2009. Other than that, we are expecting to see those temperatures once again become rather pleasant as we head into those overnight hours. Right now, 74 in McAllen, winds out of the south. South southeast between 17 miles an hour. Those breezy conditions will continue through the night into tomorrow morning. But as we head into looking at those uh, that planner for tomorrow, we are expecting to see those high temperatures once again top out in the 80s. That height, though, that cloud cover not really going away. Still going to continue to see those winds out of the southeast between 15 and 23 miles an hour for us here across the valley heading into tomorrow night. Radar and satellite is showing a lot of cloud covers just trailing through the area. We're seeing just some uh, occasional clearing. From from Harlingen down to Brownsville. But other than that, uh, looking at that future cast, we are going to continue to see those mostly cloudy conditions for the rest of tonight into tomorrow. However, we are going to start seeing increasing rain chances with our next cold front that's going to be moving through on Monday. So we could see a few pockets of moderate to heavy rain, just a few pockets of isolated showers that are going to be moving through uh, Monday afternoon there as that front moves through. It's going to be a rather weak front, but it is going to cause those overnight temperatures to become chilly, dropping down into the 50s. Highs a little bit cooler in the 70s going into Monday and Tuesday. But looking at the big picture, you're seeing all that cloud cover trailing across the state of Texas as our next weather system is moving through the Texas panhandle. This is going to be continuing to move towards the south there. A very slow moving uh, system there as uh, we're dealing with those southerly winds that's bringing in that cloud cover uh, from Mexico there. Looking at those future temps across the state, we're not really going to see the effects of this cold front until we get into Monday, which we will see that influx of cooler air come through with those overnight temperatures in the 50s, topping out in the 60s, going into Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. Going to continue to see that cloud cover overhead for much of next week, but uh, we do have another front on the way for the end of next week that's going to not really have rain chances, but we will see another cooler temperature outlook going into the end of the week. Tonight, dropping down into the 70s. Tomorrow will be a little bit on the warm side again, topping out in the upper 80s. Mostly cloudy skies. Winds still continuing to be fairly breezy at times, gusting up to 30 miles an hour along the coast. We could see some fall concerns once again for tomorrow with high temperatures on South Padre Island topping out at 73. That surf still on the cold side at 57 degrees. Winds out of the south southeast with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. High tide at 218 in the morning. Low tide at 1004 a.m. with a high rip current risk lasting into tomorrow due to those high winds that are kicking up those waves. For your seven-day forecast, expect those temperatures once again topping out another warm day expected for tomorrow in the 80s. 86 for our high on Sunday. We do have that cold front moving through on Monday. That's going to bring us a 30% chance of some scattered showers. We could see some moderate pockets of heavy rain with this uh, just very isolated moderate pockets of heavy rain going into Monday. Not going to be widespread and definitely not enough rain to get us out of this increasing drought conditions. Cooler temps expected for Tuesday. We're only going to top out in the 60s. Those overnight temps back down into the 50s. And then once again, warming back up into the 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. We do have another weak front for the end of the week that's going to bring us back down into the mid 70s to low 70s. But temperatures remaining on the pleasant side. The good news is that we're not expecting those very cold temps that we saw a couple of weeks ago as uh, we head into the next week or two. Jeremiah? All right, thanks, Chris. Coming